In an address to the Christian Democratic Union on Monday, German Chancellor Angela Merkel pledged to limit the flow of refugees entering the country. So Huffington Post reports, after accepting roughly 1 million refugees so far this year, Merkel said the country must now noticeably reduce the number of new arrivals. In comments, uh, in comments to The Guardian, Merkel said refugees will have to make an effort to assimilate into German society. She also dismissed the idea of multiculturalism, which in parts of Europe is associated with the policy of encouraging distinct cultural groups to live in separate communities. She said, those who seek refuge with us also have to respect our laws and traditions and learn to speak German. Multiculturalism leads to parallel societies and therefore multiculturalism remains a grand delusion. So, I have to admit that when I first saw the headlines on this, I was expecting to read the article and vehemently disagree with Angela Merkel. But, when I read the article, it became clear to me that my understanding and my concept of multiculturalism and what she's referring to as multiculturalism are different. And in the context that she's talking about multiculturalism, I think she's 100% right. I don't think there's anything objectionable about what she's saying here. Now, on the, you know, on the, the refugee front and saying, okay, we're going to have to start limiting it now. Am I going to go after her? Am I going to say, oh my God, that's wrong. That's so outrageous and obnoxious. No, they already took a million, about a million refugees just this year. I mean, that's about as much as any individual country can do. And in reality, you know, if anybody should really take more refugees, it's the U.S. We haven't taken that many from Syria. We haven't taken that many from the Middle East. And more importantly, our background check system when it comes to refugees, not for guns, obviously, different story, but our vetting process for refugees is impeccable. I think it's the best in the world from what I've read about it. So I like our background check system. I like our vetting system. So why not bring in more refugees here and give Germany a break because their resources are being strained because they've taken in so many, okay? So it's not, don't get it twisted. Anybody who tries to call her a bigot or says, oh my God, she's fucked up because of what she said or did, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's a fair attack. I don't think that looks at what she said in context. So to get specifically to the point of multiculturalism. Now, if you say to me, Kyle, do you support multiculturalism? In this sense, in the sense that you have different cultures that all go to the same secular schools and they intermingle, they intermarry, they borrow parts of each other's cultures, they're friends, we all are Americans under that banner, and we have distinct cultures, but there's a melting pot and there's a common understanding of one law for all of us. Well, in that case, if that's what you mean by multiculturalism, which is always what I thought of when I hear multiculturalism, I say, not only do I support that, I think that's the best. I think that's fantastic. That's more or less what we have in the U.S. Not to say there aren't, there isn't still systemic racism that we're dealing with, and not to say that there aren't some places that are effectively still segregated, more or less. In practice, not in name, but in practice. So we still have problems, but overall... You know, I agree with that kind of multiculturalism, and I'll argue for that till I'm blue in the face. But if you say to me, no, my definition of multiculturalism is, hey, you have, like, segregation, where you have people who are Armenian over here, you have people who are, whatever, Botswanan over here, you have people, I always bring up Botswana, poor Botswana, I'm always ripping on them. Uh, you have Muslims over here, you have Christians over here, you... Uh, I say to that one, no, 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 because that, that in practice is not some sort of high-minded liberal project. That's just segregation. You know, this idea that don't intermingle, don't intermarry, you guys stay on your side of the line, we'll stay on our side of the line, and it's distinctly different cultures where we have different sets of laws and totally different beliefs, and those people are alien to me, and those people are alien to me. No, no, that is a problem. It, that's certainly not what my idea of multiculturalism is, and I do think that's a fair thing to criticize that. Because, it, again, the way I've always viewed it is, uh, multiculturalism being this idea of we're tolerant of the other and the culture of the other, as long as the culture of the other is also tolerant and open-minded and willing to, 
everybody meets everybody halfway, where we say, we may have different backgrounds, we may have different religions, and we have the freedom to practice these things, but at the end of the day, we're all Americans. And, you know, we all abide by the Constitution and our laws, and we intermingle, intermarry, you know, go to the same places, meet at secular schools where there's no indoctrination, whether it's into Christian ideology or Islamic ideology or anything like that. So, in context, what she said is, I think, perfectly fair and perfectly true, that the kind of multiculturalism she's talking about, that is a problem, and that is a delusion, that that's somehow going to lead to peace if we do effective segregation. No, forget that kind of multiculturalism. The multiculturalism that makes sense is the kind that I was describing, and hopefully we can get to that point, not only in the U.S., but everywhere, where we all agree to democracy and secular laws, and there's a melting pot to an extent, and everybody can keep the good parts of their culture, and, you know, we share and intermix and love each other, and we move along, and at the end of the day, we have a national identity where we're all together, despite our differences.